So did you guess where we were going next? This is Main Street, USA in the town of Marceline, Missouri. Boyhood home of Walt Disney. We're gonna visit the museum here, but first, I'm gonna try out this little cafe here for lunch. So we just finished eating uh, lunch at Ma Vic's Corner Cafe. Excellent uh, lunch. They have only breakfast and lunch here. Sorry about all the traffic, but it's a busy Marceline town. Here's Main Street here in Marceline. This is the uh, town that Walt Disney patterned is Main Street, USA with in, Walt, in Disneyland. original site where the Midget Autotopia, which Walt Disney brought from Disney World to set up in Marceline, um, Missouri here. The sidewalk here simulates what the tracks were like in this uh, 
ran here for like 11 years until the <laughs> cars started falling apart and they, they couldn't replace the parts anymore. And uh, it actually ran longer here than it did in the original Disneyland. So that's kind of an interesting little history here in uh, Marceline. Okay, so we're concluding our visit to Marceline, Missouri. I am walking down Main Street, USA. That's the actual name of this street. <laughs> when Walt Disney was growing up, it was probably just called Main Street, but it's actually called Main Street, USA now. And uh, Walt Disney never forgot his roots, where he came from. He came back to this town three different times to dedicate uh, different things like elementary school and uh, also uh, I believe the uh, post office. He was going to come back when they brought the ride, the Autotopia, to um, here. It was the only Disneyland ride that was retired and taken to a different location. And uh, he actually uh, couldn't come because he was feeling ill. And just about three months later, he passed away from cancer. So I hope you've enjoyed our visit to Marceline. If you have a chance, drop in. It won't take long to see the entire town and the museum and all the things it has to offer. This is the site, as you can see, for the Disney Family Farm and uh, what was called the Dreaming Tree. I'm walking toward the site of the Disney Family Farm and the Dreaming Tree. The actual tree blew down, I believe, and I want to say 2015, I could be wrong on that. But this tree apparently was planted in its place. See the tree there. I believe it was where Walt Disney went when he was a boy and liked to sit in the tree and dream about things. Maybe he thought of the idea of a mouse. There's a picture of the original one, the tree. It's by this little brook. We've had a lot of rain here in the last few days. But it's a nice little area. I 
understand this is just a privately owned piece of property right now and the people who own it allow people to come and walk back here as long as they're respectful and I think most people are this barn was built on Walt Disney's 100th birthday back in 2001 this is 2021 so Walt Disney was born 120 years ago this year here it is this new barn that was built just well it's 20 years old now kind of old now very beautiful area this is a beautiful day in the end of June high is only around 80 degrees we will take it here we are in the inside of the barn, and apparently it's a thing to write a note or write your name on it or draw a picture of Mickey Mouse or some kind of mouse there. And people have done it all around, including way up there. We have no idea how people could do that. The people squeeze through there to get interesting. Okay. It's like we even have a marriage proposal that somebody wrote on there. Interesting, interesting. Oh, there's a pretty good goofy right there. Somebody's a pretty good artist. Can't do that sort of thing.